All right, so first you're gonna get set up with your handled band, do bracelets, and then get set up on the wall with the ball low and your feet a little bit forward. So when you squat down, your knees are at 90 degree bend, choke up toward the middle of that band. Get my timer set the right way, that would help. Okay, three, two, one, and go. So you're reaching overhead up at an angle as you lower into that squat, stand out of the squat, pull that band like you're trying to rip it in half. Reach some tension at the bottom of the squat, stand and pull. So you can go a little fast and get high reps. You can go slow and hold the bottom of the squat, play around with it. Make sure you're pushing through the heel. Pull your shoulder blades together as you pull apart on that band. I'm using a therapy ribbon. That's what I had close by. Usually with the ball squat, you can go a little lower than usual and it helps us train to get our chest up. Get a nice little massage on the back. Go till you hear the beep. 50 seconds, five zero was the interval. There's your beep. Finish that last one, set that all down and then grab your dumbbell. Two medium or heavy dumbbells. Bicep curl, overhead press, palms facing center the whole time. Three, two, one, and go. Curl them up to the shoulders, exhale, push, and then reverse it back to start. When you press overhead, trying not to arch your back. Make sure I'm getting the camera now that I'm recording. <laughs> Slight pause in each position so that you're not using momentum and swinging, especially at the bottom, it's tempting. So holding those two suitcases at the bottom, pause for half of a beat, otherwise you swing and it looks like this. You might have to swing at the end if they're heavy and you can't get the last few reps. Strict press overhead. Go till you hear the beep. And then when we're done, we'll use these dumbbells for the next exercise. Brace your abs, brace your glutes. That'll help you keep a strong core. There's your beep and rest. I'm setting mine down just for a second. Keep your weights. Trying to get my camera set the right way. When we do the hinge, your back stays straight on the way down and the way up. You'll hinge down, knees soft, back straight. We'll do two rows and then you'll stand tall two suitcases that you're holding. Three, two, one, here's your beep. Hinge down, back is flat, stick your tail behind you. Exhale, pull, exhale, pull. Now squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward, stand nice and tall, repeat. Now pay attention to if these weights are heavy enough or too heavy for what you're doing and you can change it for set two if you have those options. We are going three sets today. When you hinge down, your back is nice and flat. Make sure your head's not lower than your hips. Bend the knees just a little bit. Almost done. There's your beep. Go ahead and set those down carefully. Grab a drink. Take a short break. Going set two, so go to the ball on the wall with your band. Remember, feet are start out a little bit forward. Choke up toward the middle of the band, do bracelets so those handles don't swing around and hit you in the face. Three two, one, here we go. Lower into a squat as you reach forward and up and then stand and pull. Exhale as you press back up, pushing mostly through the heels. Should not feel any pressure in the front of your knees. 
play around with going nice and low on these. Almost done. And there's your beep, rest. <laughs> Take a few deep breaths in the break. Grabbing your dumbbells for bicep curl, overhead press. Standing nice and tall, suitcase hold. Brace your abs right now, lightly flex the glutes. Here comes your beep. There it is, curl it up, press it overhead, reverse it down. If they get too heavy to press overhead at the end, you bend your knees just a little bit. You give it a thrust like this, bend your knees, power it from the lower body. Just squeeze out those last two or three reps. Nice and controlled. You can go up a little fast, down a little bit slower. A lot of extra work on that eccentric part of the move if you go slow, especially on the reverse curl there. Go till you hear the beep. There's your beep. Keep those dumbbells if you can. Holding them between set is good challenge for the forearm and grip. Hinging down two rows and then stand is next. Three, two, one, and go. Hinge down, hold the hinge, abs are braced here. Exhale as you pull and then stand tall by pushing the hips forward. Make sure you power the stand by pushing hips forward, flexing the glutes, but you still keep your back straight and long and lifted through the top of your head. No change in the curve of your spine. Almost there. There's your beep, finish the one that you're on. Stand tall, carefully set those aside, grab a drink. Go and set three in a few seconds here. So you can go ahead and get set up again on the wall with the band and the ball. Okay, set three, the hard set, one you don't wanna do, but if you're up for it, you can fancy it up. You can pulse one, two, three times at the bottom and then stand and pull, that's totally optional. Three, two, one, go. Lower down, arms reach up, stand and pull. Play around with going down slow, up fast, pulsing at the bottom. Those are ways you can make it harder and keep the time the same. The obvious way to make it harder is to do more reps, but then your workout takes too long. So you have to make the variation harder. So pulsing or holding at the bottom, things like that are a good way to level it up when you're ready. I can't see my timer, so I can't give us updates, but we must be getting close. There's your beep. Grabbing your two dumbbells. Bicep curl, overhead press, set three. <clears throat> Going in three, two, one, here's your beep. Bicep curl, overhead press.
So I've making it harder for this obvious one is heavier dumbbells. And if you find that all of your exercises are getting consistently too easy, it's time to buy another set. <laughs> you can talk to me about how heavy they should be. My next set up is like, these are slightly too light. My next size up, slightly too heavy where I can't do a whole interval. So when I do my own workout, I might do the heavy ones for as many as I can with good form. And then I switch and finish off the set with my lighter ones. Always a nice option. They call it a drop set. Almost done here. There's your beep. Keep your dumbbells if you can. Work in the grip. Hinge in two rows is next. Take a few deep breaths here first. Going in three, two, one. Here's your beat. Hinge down, tail sticks behind you, knees slightly bent, two rows. And then push your hips forward to stand. On the row, pay attention to upper back muscles, the big wing lat muscles. And on the stand, push, pay attention to your glutes, flexing, pushing hips forward, back staying long, straight, pulling straight up. And this is what you are training for, is to pick things up from the floor safely. So when you hinge forward at the hips to pick up a heavy box, think about pushing your hips forward, bracing through the core, all of those things, not just for exercise, almost there. Ooh, there's your beep, set those down carefully. Get a drink, we're done with the strength portion. We'll be moving on to cardio. So interesting to me how same weights, but one arm will go fatigue before the other. Yes. <laughs> yep, one arm's done. The other one's like, we can do a couple more. <laughs> oh, I'll check my timing for the intervals. Okay, two exercises. The first one is with the ball, and this is the side skip, and you do the rainbow overhead. So you start with it at one shoulder, skip, skip, skip across the room, bring it down to the other shoulder. If your ceiling is low, you can bring it around the front, rainbow it from shoulder to shoulder across the front. Either way, you're gonna get your shoulders. Exercise two is with hands on the floor or chair, and this is the one where you do plank jacks and you land wide and then you do an elbow pull and an elbow pull. So you'll do four jacks, I'll remind you. And then side plank, side plank. I'm gonna do varying levels. So I'm gonna do um, hands on chair first and then a harder version later. Three sets, grab your ball, side skips. Three, two, one, go. Up and over shoulder to shoulder. So making these harder, you do longer intervals or you up the intensity, try to go a little faster. You can put a little more effort into it and feel it get harder. About 40 seconds, so this is a long interval. 25 seconds will be the rest. We're almost there. There's your beep. Rest, put the ball down, get set up. Figure out where you're going to do plank jacks. <clears throat> Hands elevated or on floor. You'll start with your feet wide. You've got 10 more seconds. You'll do four plank jacks with the feet and then elbow pull one time each side. Get set up, three, two, one, go. Four jacks, land wide. Elbow with a twist, elbow with a twist. <clears throat> you land with your feet wide, so then you've got a tripod, so you can go through that side plank without worrying about balance. If your feet are together, it's balance and that's fine. But right now we're just trying to get our heart rate up. Work on balance later, 15 seconds to go. 
Anytime these intervals are too long, you just stop sooner too and get a longer break. That's one way to make it easier. Three, two, and one. 25 seconds and then we go to side skips. These breaks go fast. Another 10 seconds, take a few deep breaths here. Slow your heart rate. Getting ready, three, two, one, go. I feel like if there was one that I would have to stop early, it'd be this one, surprisingly. <laughs> Technically easier, but big heart rate one. So do what you can. On these intervals, typically tell people to push at a seven on a scale of one to 10. And your seven will vary day to day and it'll get different as you get stronger. Whatever seven feels like today is the effort level you give. Almost there. There's your beat, rest. Get ready for plank jack, side plank. Let me do it with my hands on the floor this time so I've got all of the variations in the video. <clears throat> in 10 seconds we go. Start to get set up. Feet wide, four, three, two, one. Go, four jacks, side plank twist, side plank twist, repeat. Something I forgot to mention in set one, when you do your side plank, you probably do the same side every single time, leading, try to change that up. Alternate, or if you think you did all right arm last time, do all right left arm this time, leading. Ooh, can't talk, 15 seconds. Almost done. Eight seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. There's your beep. Ah, so much harder on the floor. One more time through. The set you don't want to do. Grab your ball, walk around, take slow, deep breaths. Get set up, here it comes for three, two, one, go. And now you'll start to notice that your seven on set three is not the same as your seven on set two. That's okay. Pushing your limits here. ball out of this one as well. Shoulders start to burn. That can be a distraction. Good one or a bad one. Getting close. Almost done. There's your beat. You're done with that one. Set the ball aside. Get ready for plank jacks. Side plank. Take some breaths right here though, deep ones. 10 seconds to get ready. Get in position, feet wide, three, two, one, go. Four jacks, shoulders over wrist. Now control your jacks, soft landings, quiet feet. That makes the core, upper body help to make that possible. Past halfway. Twelve seconds left. Eight. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, rest. Okay, resist the urge to crumble to the floor or sit down, walk around. Sit down if you are dizzy or nauseous, otherwise stay up. It's healthier for your heart to recover 